bright duty every student matters now coming back to once again our two basic things with the help of which we will be doing all the numericals first was the mirror formula which said 1 by f was equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u right and second was the magnification formula which said that small m magnification is given by the formula h2 by h1 or it was also expressed in terms of object and image distance with the formula minus v upon u where we know that u is the object distance v is the image distance f is the focal length h1 is the height of object h2 is the height of image m is the magnification u is the object distance v is the image distance clear guys now we will be studying a bit more about magnification try to understand a few things because probably you will be getting one mark question out of it as a hot question just try to relate magnification we have said this was equal to h2 by h1 which was height of image by height of object fine now there are few things that we need to consider first thing is the height whether it is of object or of image they may be taken as positive or negative as per the criteria that are they erect or are they inverted fine if they are erect we are going to take it to be positive if they are inverted we are going to take it to be negative now as per what we have discussed earlier the height of the object h1 is always positive always because the object is always placed in front of the mirror as erect now the height of image may be positive may be negative if the height of the object is positive we say that the height of the image is positive we say that the image is erect and if the height of the image is negative we say that the image is inverted fine so if the height of ob object is always positive if the height of the image is also positive we will get a positive value for magnification and this shows that an erect image is formed object is always erect right we just need to see whether image formed is erect or not second option is if magnification was h2 by h1 height of the object is always positive but it is an inverted image getting formed if it is an inver inverted image of course we will take h2 to be minus and therefore we will get magnification to be minus this minus magnification shows an inverted image is formed getting my point fine so magnification positive or magnification negative we can conclude a few things out of it got it next thing magnification same h2 by h1 now taking an example what if height of the object was 2 centimeters and the image formed is also 2 centimeters we will get magnification value is 1 so whenever we get magnification equal to 1 we say that the image formed is that of same size as of object but if the image formed was 4 centimeters or 3 centimeters anything above 2 centimeters then the magnification will be greater than 1 now when the magnification is greater than 1 we say that a magnified image or an enlarged image of the object is formed the more is the value of magnification the magnified image the more magnified the image is getting formed now if the magnification is anywhere less than 2 centimeters in that case we will get the magnification to be 0 0.5 or if I say it is 0 0.5 centimeters we will get magnification more or less then 
the magnification will come out to be value lesser than 1. So, whenever the magnification is less than 1, we say that a reduced image or a diminished image of the object is getting formed. So, these are very important things students. You need to see what do these signs convey. Magnification plus means erect image, magnification minus means inverted image, magnification is equal to 1 means same size image, magnification greater than 1 means it is a enlarged image and magnification less than 1 means it is a diminished image. Got it? Now, what type of questions we will be asked? This is important and interesting now and it should be very simple looking at what we have studied earlier. We will be asked the magnification produced by mirror is plus 2. What type of image is this? Right. So, we have to separately consider both the things. Magnification is positive. This positive sign shows that it is an erect image getting formed. Remember, magnification was equal to h2 by h1. h1 is always positive. If the magnification is positive, therefore, h2 should have been positive and h2 positive means it is an erect image. Next, magnification is greater than 2. This 2 shows that it is a magnified image. Fine. So, we are getting an erect and a magnified image. This is the nature of the image formed. Right? Had it been the magnification produced by mirror is plus 1. Plus size shows what? Erect image. One size shows that now they are getting cancelled out. It is a same size image. So, same size and erect image is concluded if we are given magnification plus 1. Had it been magnification is equal to plus 0 0.4 plus sign indicates erect image and 0 0.4 it is less than 1, we will say that it is a diminished image. So, erect and diminished image is getting formed. Exactly same we may represent if the magnification is minus 2. Minus sign indicates that now it is an inverted image. 2 shows it is greater than 1 that means it is a magnified image. Fine. Magnification is minus 1. Minus sign C means it is an inverted image and 1 indicates that it is a same size image. Magnification is minus 0 0.4, minus sign shows once again it is an inverted image and since the value is less than 1 that means it is a reduced image. Got it? So, we can easily interpret what kind of image we are dealing with if we are given the magnification. Got it? Fine. Now, if I can conclude something about the type and nature of image, I am also in a position to conclude something about the nature of mirror we are talking about. Now, this is ultra important. Please try to understand what I am trying to say. We have, if we can recollect, we have seen in the case of plane mirror. In the case of plane mirror, the image formed was always virtual, was always erect, was always behind the mirror and was always same size image. These were the characteristics. If you do not remember, kindly go back and study again. These were the characteristics of the image formed by plane mirror. Now, when we talked about convex mirror, we saw that the image formed by a convex mirror was always virtual, always erect, always behind the mirror, but it was always diminished or highly diminished. You, have, you people are quite smart. You have understood the difference. Everything over here is same except the size of your height of image formed. Fine. When we talked about concave mirrors, now in concave mirrors, we categorize concave mirrors 
with these two categories first option when in the first case the object was be placed between p and f we got virtual image we got erect image we got the image behind the mirror but it was magnified and the rest of the five cases we got a real image we got an inverted image we got the image in front and it was of different sizes it was highly magnified image in first instance then it was reduced to magnified then it was also same size then it became diminished and then it became highly diminished these were the five cases when the object was placed at f between f and c at c beyond c at infinity those who have missed it please go through my earlier lecture in which we have discussed all about it fine so now after looking at all this particular thing what i can conclude is now this is very important which i want you people to understand is that if it is a real image it has to be a concave mirror because other two mirrors can't form real images if the image is inverted it has to be a concave mirror if the image is getting formed in front of the mirror it has to be a concave mirror if the image is magnified it has to be a concave mirror because the plane mirror makes same size image convex mirror forms diminished image none of them can form magnified image so this is the speciality of concave mirrors that they are the only ones which can form a real image which can form an inverted image which can form an image which is formed in front of the mirror and they can form a magnified image now if you are asked fine that the magnification of mirror is in minus any value i am not concerned about value if the magnification is in minus minus means inverted image it has to be a concave mirror getting my point if the magnification is greater than 1 it is 1.2 1.4 2.6 3.8 regardless of the sign since the magnification is greater than 1 what interpretation what conclusion i have drawn from it that it was a magnified image and the magnified image can only be formed with yes you guessed it right concave mirror fine but now when he will be asking a mirror is forming a virtual image only this particular specification is given what type of mirror it is it may be all it may be among all it may be concave or convex or plane because all of them are capable of forming virtual images if he is saying the image is erect sir you haven't said sir, anything specific about it it generalizes all of them it may be any of them if it is behind the mirror it may be any of them but now if he says that image is same size don't jump to the conclusions yet right if the image is same size now it can be plane mirror or concave because the concave mirror also forms a same size image now among these if it is specified that it is virtual and same size or real same size it is erect same size or inverted same size it is formed behind the mirror same size image or in front same size then we can be specifically focusing on either it is a plane or a concave mirror but only if we are provided with this information that is the same size image what type of mirror it is you have to write it may be convex mirror concave mirror or plane mirror either of the two right once again if we are asked that the mirror forms diminished image diminished image was convex mirror is also forming and the concave is also forming once again we need to be given this particular additional information that it is diminished virtual or diminished real diminish erect or diminished inverted diminish behind the mirror or diminish in front of the mirror got it so it is only only and only in case of real 
or inverted or in front or magnified that any of the single information given is sufficient to conclude that it is a concave mirror. But otherwise, we need some specific information about it. Got it? This is all about our very important topic, new Cartesian sign conventions and the nature and size of image formed when we are given the magnification. I hope you have understood it. Please try to relate it. Please try to go through it minimum two times and try to understand it. Understand the concept and the logic rather than just ratifying, just cramming up, just learning up the sign conventions. Trust me, you are going to forget them out there. You are going to get confused and if you have put the sign conventions wrong, everything will go wrong. When we will do the numericals, we will see the same thing happening. So, the next topic we will be taking up after this will be numericals and before that, I want you all to get prepared, learn, understand and go through, practice all these sign conventions, keep them in your mind and of course, the magnification part. Fine. I hope you have understood all. Please go through it again. Thank you so much.